most of the time at Open Eye Global, we're counting the larger pieces for the Open Eye Global uh, Open Art range, the, the more organic, large artistic pieces such as this. But there's also people who are interested in buying small gem stones. So I thought I would talk to you about cutting small stone as opposed to cutting large stone. So when we cut the opals, like the small gemstone opals, the idea is to isolate the pocket of brilliant colour. And to do that, we, we break it down into these um, freeform shapes, getting a, um, a nice depth, getting the back flat, and getting it pre-shaped so that when we take it to the grinder, then we can work on that shape and have it more flowing and perfect so that when the person takes it to the jeweler, they'll, um, the jeweler will have no trouble with setting it. So what we do with these is we put them on a stick. We call it a stick. So we mix a glue up and we dump it on the stick and it looks like this, or probably um, like this. It's a stick and it gives me like the ability to hold it and to turn it. So the next thing I'm going to do with this piece is take it over to the, um, the grinding machine where I'm going to shape it rather finely and um, work in water which keeps it cool. Okay, I'll be done. <laughs> so I need my spectacles. It's pushing me a good eyesight. And we don't use heavy grips here and it's a very light touch. It's very refined. You're sweeping the stone around, just thinking about the shape. When you look at the surface of the stone and you look for imperfections, um, so then I work it down another wheel to something like it's more refined again. Just getting the sweep on the shape, touching the circle, and getting it ready for finish, which is finish on the top, and then we do the back. But that's we're halfway there once we get the shape and we know how to. So from here we take it over to the sander and the polisher, um, but that uh, that's probably um, enough for today and we can pick up where we left off next time. Thank you.